Uh, yeah, probably like in the. Well, I was already racing, but not in like 2012 with uh, Brad uh, Cav, like in the tour Olympics. You just kind of be around that. That was that was pretty cool. That was one of the coolest years watching when I was growing up. So. Yeah, that's, that is a plan. I think I'm gonna do one soon. So we'll, we'll see about that. Yes, I can ride a unicycle. I used to do it quite often when I was younger. Like yeah, after school and stuff, go on a unicycle. So yeah, in the woods and stuff. Few of us, few of us had one at school. What's the key to it? Key to unicycling. Well. It's like asking, what, how, how do you ride a bike? It's like balancing it. It's tricky to learn, painful. Can make it painful as well. A bit easier to learn to ride a bike, to be fair. Uh, well, my collection's not grown recently because Ineos only gave me like two pairs, so it's. Uh, <laughs> um, I think. 60 or 70, including casual, I think. No, I, I regret not, not learning, more, learning more stuff at school that I was interested in. I mean, to me, I was going to be a cyclist, so to be honest, the number on a piece of paper at the end of the exam didn't mean anything to me. But yeah, I think it's important to, to learn as much as you can in things you're interested in. I saw that question, it said, who won? And the answer is me. So. <laughs> Someone set it up wrong because there's a photo where I'm in front and that's what I'm going off, so on the finish line. Go back next year. Hmm. Not sure, but I have learned a lot this year. But I can't really tell you much or anything because it's all like small things. You know, there's a lot of a lot of little things you just pick up like all the time at races, you know, like with you know because well I'm the most least experienced in the team so. Yeah, everyone's kind of got something to give, you know. Well, I, I, I kind of learned to ride a motorbike a few weeks ago. Is that it? No, in England. Little, little uh, pit bike thing. Learned to change gear. Was riding around the field on this little track. It was class. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's probably there. Yeah, probably that, yeah. I got a bit better at swimming on holiday as well. I'm really good at swimming. Uh, well, I've not had a hangover very often, so this is not going to be very hard to answer that question. Probably four hours. Yeah. I've only ever been. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I've ever been hungover, honestly. Not properly. Not still drunk in them. Drink, nah, I've drunk like four times in my life, so. But the day after going out clubbing, probably four hours. Well, I want to ride a downhill World Cup first. Rampage, I need to go and see because obviously everything looks smaller on TV than it does in real life, so. I don't know. It's on my bucket list to ride a Red Bull Rampage, but I don't know if I ever will because the older you get stupid stuff you do generally and I think that stuff can be in the category of stupid yeah I think I'm generally quite good at bouncing I mean crashing to the side of a post pattern and then breaking your uh, collarbone I think I bounce quite well there
Yeah, well, I'll do my best. I need to win a race first. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wouldn't say I'm into specific many music, but I like Oasis, I like Killers. I also like, I don't know, whatever new pop songs there are, but I don't know any of the names. <laughs> just good, just nice songs. Well, I think Ineos has got the best pedigree of winning Grand Tours. So, in that respect, yes. And in the first part of the question, yeah, depends how near future he's talking about, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, oh, I see. After the Olympics, like I completely switched off. Motivation wasn't there. I just, well, even when I tried to switch back on, I couldn't really. Um, so, yeah, like I had three weeks kind of dusting about really. And yeah, I mean, I was, I didn't drink or anything. I was just eating, doing stuff with my friends and just didn't have the fitness when I got to Grand Tour, when I got to the Volta. And I think I got better through the race. Like towards the end, I was actually going, you know, better. So it just gave me, yeah, and I learned a hell of a lot. So, no, yeah, I think it was all right. It would have been good to try and win a stage near the end, but I don't think my shape was that good then. Didn't get to good enough. No, that's that's uh, that's a bit specific. That is, I think all the sports I do are generally kind of endurance sports, but that's a bit like freestyle BMX, isn't it? Oh, I don't know, gymnastics. Um, well, honestly, the first time. The First year I started going to Belgium, I didn't actually know who anyone was in cross. I didn't really follow the sport at all. You know, when I when I got to Belgium after I did a few races that year, and then at the Worlds I only just learned who Sven Nace was. So yeah, then I started following it as I was in junior and that, and that's when Matthew was world champion and Wout they were racing. So yeah, I'd say probably Matthew and Wout. And then mountain bike. I think I, I follow that a bit more. I watch like Olympics and things. Um, and obviously Nino was at the top, so yeah, Nino. Road. Yeah, probably Brad and Cav. Probably. Yeah. Like 2012. Well, I guess it's kind of the guys my age, so Pogacar, Remco, I guess, well, Machu and Wow, I guess they're kind of my biggest competitors because I race with them all year round. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> um, that's a good question, actually, because I'm not just going to say me, because I think he is quite talented, but he doesn't, he's not like as focused as me. I mean, like, he doesn't like vegetables, so he doesn't eat any vegetables, which obviously isn't going to help him ride a bike fast, is it? So, yeah, don't know. We'll see. Yeah, what coffee? What's the end about? Because you don't drink coffee. Yeah, right? yeah, I don't drink coffee now. You tried it and you didn't like it. Um, I only ever tried it because my dad got cappuccinos at the cafe with the chocolate sprinkles on, 
I liked taking the chocolate sprinkles off the top when he wasn't looking with the milk and then one day I got the coffee as well. I didn't like it, so. And why do I need to drink it? You get a better benefit from caffeine gels then, don't you? Good question because I think if I ever did want to fully focus on Grand Tours, then I wouldn't be able to do the other disciplines in that year. Doesn't mean I won't go back to it, but at least until Paris. <laughs>